Hey guys, today this is going to be the episode 4 and there is a new Samsung Galaxy update on the good lock and this time is the routine. And I will show you, for example, if I double click on the volume up button, it will activate my calculator. If I double click on the volume down, it will be the camera. And today I will show you everything, how I did all those stuff. And you can do the same thing on your phone to make your phone much easier to use. So let's get the video rolling. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so because I will give you good information for your smartwatch, your smartphone, or even your tablet. So let's get the video started. So in order to make it work, make sure you go to your good lock. And if you scroll all the way down, there is this thing called Routine Plus. And when you turn on your Routines Plus, there is all these like options right there. And today, I am only going to show you three things that is more essential for everyone to make their phone much easier to use. So the first thing I will teach you is called location-based quick access. In here, basically what I did for the volume up, volume down, recent button, home button, how I set this up is actually through here. So you can go to edit. The first thing I would do is actually take out the place because you don't need to have a location to access all these buttons. So I usually will just take it out. And right here, you basically select whatever you want. Home, back, reasons, side, volume up, volume down, or double tap or touch and hold. So you have to have actions to do from what button, right? And then once you do that, you press done. Now let's go to the open app. So you can actually open any app you want or even take any action from the app. So basically message or messenger, or WhatsApp, anything you want. Now let's go to the Reddit, open boost. That's basically the Reddit. Press done. So if you tap and hold the recent button, it will activate the Reddit. I will show you it right now. You just need the name, whatever you want. And then that's it. Now let's see the action. So the Reddit is open by just holding the recent button and then that's it. That's how you do it. So my essential button is actually the home button. If I double tap the home button, my mobile hotspot will be on. And if I tap and hold the home button, my mobile hotspot will be turned off. So that's my very, very essential and I use it most of the time because a lot of people need Wi-Fi and I just share my data to them. So it's so much easier to activate that little button. So the second function is actually called fingerprints to website. Whatever you put your fingerprints on, they will activate a website or any type of function you want. But I like to have a website. So here's my four fingerprints and I can actually put the website in. But make sure either you put the HTTP colon slash slash or erase that and actually select another website from the options because somehow they don't read www.whatever.com so either you select from here easier open your website or you just type http colon slash slash and then your website www.whatever then they can read your website so this is another one whatever your fingerprints how you unlock it they will go straight to the website or any test you assign to. Pretty, pretty amazing. So the final features I would like to show you is actually called low battery announcement. So when they say announcement means that they actually going to announce for you when the battery is lower than 50%, whatever you want. But I don't like that because it's quite interesting, but it's quite annoying. They will actually scream, not scream, but they tell you charge your phone. They're just going to make announcements in that charge your phone in front of everyone. So I don't like to do that. So I like to do something else. I like to shut up my connectivity, like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, like NFC, stuff like that. I would like to turn it off to save more battery. So I actually like to do that when I'm lower than 20%, I would like to shut off my NFC, my mobile data, or even my Wi-Fi if I'm not 
anywhere near the Wi-Fi. That could save me more battery. So the phone will actually do everything for me. I don't have to do everything for them, which is pretty awesome. So this is it. If you find this video very useful, please subscribe and share this video. And I will give you another content pretty soon. So stay tuned for my next video and have a nice day. Bye bye. Peace out.